It's December, why is it so hot? Hi guys, welcome back to another day of Holiday Me. Today's video is going to be a gift guide. This is a gift guide that is semi last minute, pretty affordable, and just, I think, unique ideas for maybe the girl or the beauty lover in your life. They're not all like beauty related, but um, pretty much they are. <laughs> I just wanted to throw this together in case you are lacking inspiration, you need some ideas. All of these are pretty attainable, so you can get them quick, because I know we're cutting it down to the wire. But um, yeah, I love all of these things. It's some of the things I've been loving throughout the year and I wanted to just put it in a gift guide. This video is actually in collaboration with Scentbird and I'm working with them to show you kind of their new features and such. I've worked with them in the past. I really really like them. You guys know I only work with companies that I really enjoy and I enjoy this one. Also you guys if you can hear the wind I apologize. I live in California and as I'm filming this it is in the midst of all the wildfires and the heavy wind and the wind is so real and I hate the wind. It gives me major anxiety and it's causing awful fires and people are losing their homes. I'm thinking of anybody who's in the midst of the fire. I'm in the LA area but as of now I'm not you know on the evacuation list or anything like that. But yeah if you can hear the wind it's the wind. <laughs> so we got a lot of stuff to get through so I'm gonna just quit yapping and get to it. Since I mentioned Scentbird we'll just do that first. If you don't know what Scentbird is it is a subscription which I think a subscription would be a really great gift even if you do one month like hey pick out what you want. Here's your subscription. Two months, three months, whatever you can afford. But they also have some new items you can buy a la carte which would make good gifts as well. But this is the original Scentbird Atomizer which basically Scentbird is $14.95 a month and it's perfumes. And they have over 450 like designer perfumes like pretty much anything you can think of they have it. So basically when you subscribe you get a little atomizer like this which is really cool and you pick one perfume a month. Their tagline is date perfumes before you marry them which I think is so cute and also very effective because I think we've all been there we bought a perfume that we like liked in the moment and then we like have the full size of it and we're like oh my god why did I buy this at least I've done that more than once learn my lesson so this is really cool you just kind of twist it up and then you can spritz I chose this month the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Rose it's the rose one every time I go somewhere where there's perfumes I like douse myself in it so I was like you know what I'm gonna get that one this month and I'm loving it it smells so incredibly good I love juicy perfumes they're just nostalgic for me because that was like one of the first perfumes I ever got but this thing is cool as well if you forget like what perfume you have in there you can just pop it out and it tells you right there also Semper just released some brand new products which are interchangeable with the subscription or can be bought a la carte which I think is really cool just giving you more options so the first product are hand creams I'm lazy about hand creams but I like these so much that I've been reaching for them and also my skin has been terribly dry so these have been very helpful. This is the scent Rose and Prosecco which smells incredible but I also have white tea and fig. I've been enjoying them both. I'm gonna put some on right now. Oh, it smells so good and ties in nicely with my rose perfume. Yes! <laughs> but what I mainly like about these is that my hands don't feel greasy afterwards. I feel like that's like a main thing is like when I'm wearing like a hand lotion I feel like like oh my god my hands are greasy I can't do anything but not with this. It just like melts into your hands really nicely gives you really nice moisture but then you can continue with your day. So the hand creams can be swapped out for your subscription or bought a la carte for $16.50 and they also have a shower scrub. They have three shower scrubs and one shower cream which I haven't tried that but it sounds delightful. This is the scent mango and kiwi and it's called a melting shower scrub so it's really nourishing but I really like this because it's a really gritty shower scrub. Like I don't like the ones that are like kind of sloughing you off. I like it to be like abrasive and I feel like this really gets off my dead skin. Feels incredible. I love scrubs you guys. I think they feel so good and I've really really been enjoying this. So again can be swapped out for your subscription or bought a la carte for $18. So if you want to try Scentbird I will have my link down below that can get you 25% off. I think it's really fun for a gift or a gift for yourself. Also I love the shade of this atomizer. Also I love the word atomizer. Before we get into the beauty stuff even though we already have but a break from beauty. I wanted to mention the Sugarfina candy cubes. I am obsessed. <laughs> I kept hearing about these last year and this year um, my, f my mom and sisters and I were at Nordstrom and we were like checking out and we picked up a couple boxes and we were just like let's try it. They're so good. If you don't know what Sugarfina is it's basically like gourmet fancy ass expensive candy but it makes for a good gift because not a lot of people would spend seven dollars actually I think they're 750 per this little cube but the candy is so high quality these are my favorite this is the ice cream cone gummies you guys I'm gonna eat five of them right now also this may look full from the front but I've been eating it bought it for the video but couldn't resist this comes with blue pink and white cones and my favorite of the blue 
It's the most unique gummy. Here, let me talk to you while I'm chewing. Oh my god. So good. This gummy just like melts in your mouth. I don't know what it is. It's so freaking good. I love it. And then I also got these for Bradley. These are the pale ale pints. So they're little beers. I don't think they're made with actual beer. These ones just taste like citrus and cream. They're really good. So they're just really good quality candy. They have more than just gummies, but my favorite is gummies. I just think these would make great stocking stuffers and just an all around good gift because they are a little bit pricey for what they are. I mean, $7.50 isn't, you know, the most expensive thing in the world, but for the small box of candy, you know what I mean. So they make really good gifts and I feel like they have something for everybody. Gotta have one more. Okay, maybe two. I do have a nail polish gift pick this year but it's not OPI. Are you shocked? You shouldn't be because I've been talking about Essie for years now and I do love Essie probably just as much as I love OPI. And now they came out with this amazing line and I think it would make a really good gift for somebody who maybe hasn't tried it but loves nail polish. So you probably have seen these if you don't know what they are. They're the twisty Essies and everybody when they first came out was like, oh my God, they're twisty bottles. And at first I didn't like the bottles, but now they're really cool, especially like on my nail polish racks, like I love them. So these are the Gel Couture line. It's basically their gel at home line. So it's like a gel finish and last time, but there's no light. So it's just a two step system. So you have the color, which you do two coats of this and then you do one coat of the top coat, um, which is, this is called the Platinum Grade Finish Gel Couture Top Coat, which I've used this on top of other polishes as well, and it's incredible. I'm wearing one right now. I put some glitter on top of it, but I'm wearing this shade. This is called... I don't even know. This is called VI Please, an amazing name. So all three of these, these are the only three that I own because like a fool, I gave a lot of these to my sister before I tried them because I just have so much nail polish. And they sent me this collection and I've already told her like I need them back and she's stalling on giving them back and I'm being a give or take or backer, but I don't care. But these are the three shades I decided to keep and I love them and I genuinely think they last longer than normal nail polish. If anything, I get grow out before I get chips, which is incredible because I am using my hands constantly. I just really like it. It's easy to get off and it's just the best for at-home manicures. It has a really nice brush and I just think it's amazing. But you can get these separately or I know they have sets as well that would be a really great stocking stuffer as well or just like a standalone gift so you can take care of the top coat for them as well. I just think it's a really good quality polish and if you know somebody that loves nail polish but wouldn't really like splurge on like a new system, I think it'd be a really good gift. Another beauty related gift that I think would be awesome and has kind of something for everybody are these milk makeup sticks. They come in all different kinds of forms, skincare, makeup, I think that's it. <laughs> but I have a ton of them and I just, I think they're fun. And again, kind of like a splurgy kind of item that not everybody would purchase for themselves but would love to have. There's a cooling stick, which I love. I keep this in the fridge and I use it under my eyes on days where like I wake up and my eyes are really puffy or I'm having bad allergies. Love it. They have this holographic stick, which is newer to me. So this is kind of like a highlight stick, which they have a normal highlight stick as well, but this is for like the people that are into the holographic highlight. This one is called Supernova. I know this is the more like lavender one. They also have a pinkish one, but like a really nice formula and stays on your face really well. Um, so if you have like a friend that's into that kind of makeup, that would be really fun. But then they also have skincare. They have their matcha toner, which I've been using like crazy. As you can see, I've been using it every night. They have their matcha cleanser, which is kind of the same situation. You get your face wet and just kind of get it going all over your face. And these are also amazing gifts for the traveler in your life. I love these for traveling. I mentioned them in my airplane essential beauty kit video. That was hard to come out the mouth. I'll link it up in the corner, but they're the best because they're skincare, but it's not liquid, so you don't have to put it in your little clear travel bag. They have the hydrating oil stick. They have the blur stick, my favorite. I just mentioned this in my products worth the splurge video. I think this is the most expensive one. I think this one is $40, but I know that like the toner is only 26, so they vary in price. But I just think these are fun and something for everybody, and it would be worth looking into for a gift. So I'll link all of these down below, at least the ones I have. There's still a bunch I don't have. They have like lip and cheek color, they don't just make sticks, they make a bunch of stuff, but I've been trying out the sticks mainly this year and I've been loving them and I think they'd make a great gift. Another makeup item I think would be an incredible gift if they don't already have it is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab palette. It's this huge white palette and it just really covers a lot of bases I think. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I always get questions when I use this like in the comments, what are you wearing on your eyes? And it's usually been this. I love it. It has matte shades, it has warm shades mostly. It has some cool shades but it's mostly a warm toned palette. You have your dark shades, you have your fun shades and every single 
shade, I don't think I've tried every single shade in this palette so far, but the ones I have tried are just incredible quality. Like, doesn't give you any issues blending out, doesn't give you any issues with the shimmers packing on your lid. Like, I just love it so much. And it's a really, really great eyeshadow palette for $38, which is an incredible price. You, I mean, you've seen, like, the... Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes or the Urban Decay Naked Palettes where you get literally less than half of these shades for $52. This is an incredible quality palette with a lot of different options and really great formulas for $38. If you live in California, there is a Morphe store in Burbank that I frequent. It's delightful and they would have this there. Also on the Morphe website and also Ulta now carries Morphe, which is really, really cool. And I've seen this in store. If I can find it online, I'll link it. Um, I don't know how high in demand it is at this time right now, but it would make a beautiful gift for the makeup lover in your life. Before we get into the pampering gifts, how about a homemade gift? <laughs> I made this in one of my last holiday me videos, the DIY simple and easy and cheap, whatever it was called. Holiday decor DIY. I can't get words out today. This is the cutest thing I've ever done with my life. This is a little fox ornament. I need to go back and buy more of these bulbs because I want to make a bunny. I want to make a reindeer. I want to make a raccoon. I want to make an owl. Like I just want to have it all. But this was super easy and affordable to make. Um, so I will link that video up in a corner and down below. But homemade gifts are always great. And just another chance to show off my amazing work. <laughs> So now I have some pampering gifts for kind of like the spa night at home or just for that person in your life that doesn't necessarily love makeup but loves things beauty. I got you covered. And all of these I have been loving this year. So first is a candle, which you guys are probably tired of me talking about. I think a candle is a really nice gift because not everybody spends the money on themselves for a candle, but most people would use a candle. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Lavender Soy Candle. This is the large. I love this so much that the small target size won't do it and I buy a two pack of the large on Amazon, which I will link down below. I'll also link the normal target size as well. But this is a soy candle, 35 hour burn time, burns evenly, has the best scent throw for a soy candle I've ever tried in my life. And this lavender just smells so good. This one's brand new, I haven't burned it yet. Oh my God, it smells so good. It is the best nighttime bedroom winding down to go to sleep candle. Also makes a really good bathroom candle. This scent is just really good and I think a lot of people would enjoy it, which is why I included it in this gift guide. It's the most clean smelling lavender scent I've ever smelled. I've said about lavender scents that sometimes they can smell a little bit like dirty or earthy woodsy to me, but this one just smells clean and relaxing and amazing and it's just it's a great candle, so it would make a great gift. I think I included these last year, but I'm including them again because I love them even more than I did last year, and they genuinely make really great gifts. These are the Sephora sheet masks, which I don't think I've heard enough about on YouTube. I think these are really, really great. I just used the Orchid one the other night. Loved it. These are really comfortable. They fit your face really nicely. My favorite is the rose one. It's the moisturizing and brightening. And speaking of the rose one, I also love the rose eye mask. So this one's for your face. This one's just like eye patches for under your eyes. They also have an incredible lip mask, which I'm having issues finding in store. And I asked somebody, they're like, yeah, that's only available online. But I'm like, that's a lie because I bought it in store before, but okay. <laughs> but if you find that, I love that as well. I used um, the eye mask and the lip mask in my pamper routine video, which I'll link up there if you want to see them in action. I love them. So I actually bought myself a little three pack on Black Friday for 10 bucks. And I used one the other night and I still have these other two. This is the pomegranate uh, anti-fatigue and energizing. And this is the green tea mattifying and anti-blemish. But yeah, I personally love these myself. So I think they would make a really good gift. I would love to get one as a gift. And these are, I think, $6 a piece, which again, people might not necessarily buy them for themselves. And then the smaller ones, I think are like four or five dollars. I'm not sure. I'll have them linked down below. But um, yeah, something to keep in mind if you're picking stuff up in Sephora, this would make a great add-on. I also discovered these this year because they sent them to me and I'm obsessed. These are the Meg Rhythm Gentle Steam Eye Masks. I have lavender and I have citrus. I've talked about these several times. I'm obsessed. They're witchcraft. You just pull out one of the masks, open it out of the packaging, and it activates the heat in inside it and it warms up on your eyes. As you can see, she's just relaxing. She's got it on. It's great. And then the heat activates the scent of citrus or lavender. They also come in unscented if the person you're giving... They also come in unscented if the person you're giving them to or you are, are sensitive to scent. They stay warm for 10 to 15 minutes. Great for traveling, just for an at-home pamper night or just for every night falling asleep. So give the gift of relaxation this Christmas.
I'll link them down below. They're amazing. And then of course I have some Lush stuff. I have two of the bath products because I always like to include those because they make great gifts. Not everybody knows about Lush. Not everybody's willing to spend the money on themselves for a bath bomb. So I just think it's a good gift. So I included a bubble bar and a bath bomb. This is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. I love this bath bomb so freaking much. One of my favorites from the Christmas release. It smells like honey, which is incredible. And these gold stars that you see are actually bath melts. So while it's fizzing away, the melts are also kind of melting and making your skin really smooth and amazing. Trust, it's the greatest thing in the world. And then this is the Snowman Bubble Rune, which is a bubble bar, which if you don't know what that is, you crumble off a piece of his head or something <laughs> and you run it under the faucet and it creates these amazing bubbles so I like to either give both or just tell you both as an option because some people like bubbles more than bath bombs some people like both so you could give both so they could cocktail a bath but I just any of the Christmas release would be amazing as a gift I will link it up in the corner I did a whole video on it but yeah Lush stuff is just really cute and festive and seasonal and would make an amazing gift did you think we were gonna get through this video without this because you were wrong this is the Lush sleepy body lotion I love this stuff so much. Discovered it last Christmas, been using it ever since they re-released it in May as a permanent item. I rely on this to sleep at night. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It's a really nice lavender scent. I just slather it all over my chest and I sleep better. I, I know it sounds crazy. And they also just released the Twilight Body Spray, which this is amazing for your body, but it would also be great as a pillow spray, which is what I've been using it as. It's really nifty. It has this little lock on it. You just kind of move it aside and then you spritz. Oh my god, you guys, it smells so good. I want to go back and buy the Rose Jam one as well. These are pricey though. This is $30, which is why I think it would be a good gift. Because as far as a gift goes, $30 is pretty reasonable to spend on somebody else, but not everybody would spend that much money on just this. You know what I mean? It's kind of my theme with everything for giving gifts. Buy something people would enjoy that they wouldn't necessarily buy for themselves you know? But okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it helpful, inspirational, gave you an idea. Now the person on your list, you're like, what am I going to get them? You figured it out. I hope. <laughs> I will try to have a lot of these products that I can listed through Amazon because I know they have fast shipping, especially if you have Prime. But even if not, Sephora usually has pretty fast shipping. We're still in the early swing of things. You can get things by Christmas. So I will link things down below if you just want to shop online right now and get it over with. So yeah, check the info box. And I love you guys. If you haven't noticed or you just clicked this and you don't know, I am uploading every other day in the month of December. It's my series called Holiday Me. If you missed any of it, I will link the playlist right up there. Thank you again to Scentbird for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget to check out all their info below as well as a link for 25% off. And I'll have some videos and playlists down here you can click as well. But I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.